I think people just throw it out and forget about it. And they never realize the massive potential that's in garbage. Garbage, sewage, toxic waste. Call it what you want, but you just can't ignore the amount we discard. 160 billion tons of waste in the next 10 years in the United States alone. What if there was zero waste? What if every single thing we once had no use for was not simply tossed out, but put to work? You're about to follow waste from the landfill to the lab, where high-tech fibers make even sewage reusable. The masterpiece of chemistry called membrane fiber. Where toxic chemicals are replaced by the power of green tea. And there's certainly nothing toxic about tea. And where the power of plasma will blast our waste problem into oblivion, leading the way to zero waste. in and of itself is not very popular. But when you take your garbage out on Thursday morning at 7 a.m., when you come home at night, you want it gone. Every year, we produce enough plastic film to shrink wrap Texas, dump 1.3 trillion gallons of raw sewage, throw away 50 million tons of paper, and enough glass bottles and jars to fill Chicago's Sears Tower over 60 times. And it has to go somewhere. Typically, it's the landfill but one company has made it their business to commandeer that garbage before it hits the landfill and are using it to make something worthwhile, even marketable. We looked at what people were throwing out and built a product where every part of it was what people were throwing out. Hi, my name is Tom Zaki. I'm with TerraCycle. We make products out of garbage. That idea that you could take garbage and convert it into something that's you know, very valuable is what drives everything we have. Waste is really just a commodity people are willing to pay to get rid of. So it's a really cool you know, source of material because it's someone else's problem. Tom's first product, turning garbage into something every garden can use. We fed organic waste to worms, and worms eat it and poop out worm poop, which is a fantastic fertilizer. We take that and we liquefy it in big tanks. Come on out, guys. TerraCycle's little laborers. These uh, are called red worms or uh, manure worms. Or the Latin name is Aceta fetida. They will eat any organic matter they've got around, and then they poop out these little membranes, little sacks of reduced organic matter. So not only do the worms capture all the useful nutrients, they also generate beneficial bacteria, AKA worm guts. Within a few millimeters of entering the, the worm's body, the human passions will be gone. So then we end up with beneficial microorganisms. What we focus on aggressively today is all sorts of organic waste. Animal manures, waste from paper products, so that gives a carbon source to balance your, your composting process. They love bread. You, you throw worms in on bread, and man, it's just gone. It's all part of an ingenious recipe. What you're seeing right now is worm poop being liquefied. The worm poop starts by organic waste that's fed to worms that poop out worm poop. We then add the worm poop to water. Uh, we bubble it to get all the chlorine to be dissipated from the water. We then add oxygen, we stir it, we add heat, and we're brewing worm poop. And it's sort of like making tea, except it takes five days and just a little bit more science around it. The liquid worm excrement is then put into storage tanks until it enters the bottling process. Then the packaging was garbage as well. We actually went around to thousands of schools and recycling centers and sort out used soda bottles. So one would be a Pepsi bottle or a Coke bottle, and instead of melting it down and recycling it, we just actually reuse it, where we wash it out, take off the label, and then when you walk into a store, they're all different. We're actually the first uh, company in the world to do that. So everything we use is a waste stream. Anything that we can get our hands on that is a pure stream, we're very excited about because we can make that into a product. I'm Doreen Holly, and I'm the inventor of the fire lock. Ta-da! <laughs> Doreen is another one of TerraCycle's inventors, and not the first that might strike it rich on waste. Well, over 100 years ago, gasoline itself was a waste product or a byproduct from making kerosene. And now, of course, going out and 
filling up your tank for $50 to $100 per fill up, and you see that this waste product actually became a very valuable commodity. Log is made with biodiesel byproduct, um, glycerin. They can't flush it. They can't put it in a landfill. So we're actually taking it. It's a nice fit. It, it, we're taking it off their hands, putting it into a product that is reusable. So TerraCycle is firing up, a whole new way to fire up. We have wood chips, sawdust, along with the milk carton, shredded, and with the glycerin, we're going to heat it and mix it so it's a homogenous mixture. And then after that, what we do is we take it and compress it into a log form. So we wanted to create a fire log wrapped in the most obvious thing for a fire, use newspapers. And that is the product that you will see on probably every retailer next year, is this hyper-eco-friendly fire log made and packaged out of garbage. What do you think that we could look at in there that we can make another product out of? If people can do more of like what we're doing here, reuse garbage, and to make it just another thing you use, you will create demand for it. From an economic perspective, I'm going to leave a very rich person, and I get to save the world in the process. And that's just, I can't, I can't ask for anything better than that.